hi there. I'd like to share some numbers with you today. So let's talk about a market update. Now bear with me because we're going to start out with Orange County. We also have St. Lucie County, Martin County, and Palm Beach County. So if you're just starting to listen to this video, hello, it's Tamala, and I'm making it public on Facebook, and we're going to add this to YouTube as well. So today is the beginning of November, and we're looking at October the 1st through October the 31st. Let's take a look at what's happened in the real estate market. Now, this is something that I can do with you on a Zoom call. If you'd like to know your specific area, I can narrow this down to your specific zip code, your specific town, whatever it might be. And I do have quite a bit of experience uh, in each of the areas. So even floor plans and things like that. So sometimes I can be even more of a help in guiding you through your real estate transaction uh, in different ways as well. Knowing what the market does is just one way that I educate myself in each one of the markets. So here is some example. Here we go through the time frame of October 1st through October 31st. Now I'm gonna go faster as I go through these other reports that I have available, and I've already saved them on the screen so that I can quickly go through them. So like I said, bear with me, and I'll try to walk through this quickly. Uh, it is recorded, so you can replay it if you would like to, or you can always send me a message and I will send you a copy, or I can go through them privately with you. You can always direct message me, send me a comment, whatever works the easiest for you, or subscribe to my channel. So here we go. Orange County, which would be the Orlando Regional Area, that MLS system that I have access to. The number of sold properties, we have a total of 1,020 sold properties. And as you can see here, it's broken down into two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. I've only done single family residences because the video to do condos, et cetera, might be a bit longer. So if you're interested in condos or townhomes, please don't hesitate. Just send me a message, subscribe, comment, any of the above, reach out to me. Now here we go down through, we have 1,020 properties, units that have been sold. We have active on the market as of these time frames, 2,772. We have pending, which means that they're under contract, 1,646. 79 properties expired, and I can certainly explain to you why that may have happened. And then off the market, these could be withdrawn, temporarily off the market. They have some other reason other than the property just expired because it didn't sell. Take a look over here, because this is always important. The days on market, from zero to 30, we have 566 units. 31 to 60, we're dropping down to 181. 61 to 90 days, we're at 100. And 91 to 120, we're down to 57. What does this mean? This means the amount of time that your property might be on the market. So that means that our number of sales in zero to 30 days is 566. The properties that have sold between 31 and 60 are 181. So if the property is priced well, and that's the important part of a property is priced well, and as well as in good condition and the terms of the sale, then you have an opportunity to possibly sell your property within this time frame, this 31 to 60 or 61 to 90 days, more common in our market right now in the Orlando regional area. And please keep in mind, this is all of Orange County. We're gonna skip on to the next one so I don't keep this video too long. This is your analysis for Martin County, the active properties, single family homes. Uh, in this information, we have 558 properties that are active and on the market. Now you can see some of the other information here and we could go through all of that as well. But I just wanna give you a comparison. We have 558 properties on the market in Martin County and we have 118 closed sales. Now this is that same time frame, October the 1st or October 31st, single family Martin County. 118 properties that have closed. What's your average price? These are your minimum price, maximum price, your average price, um, and what the median is in that area. So just in case you're just looking and curious what the median in Martin County is, well the list price is 394, 
with a sale price of 380. So the sales price to list price is about 96.77. Now if that doesn't make sense, just let me know. I will be happy to explain that. I more than happily explaining it to you. So just let me know. Let's go on to the next. We've got our information for St. Lucie County moving a little bit uh, up the coast there from Martin North to St. Lucie County. And this number, we've got 1,498 active properties on the market. Uh, and you know, these numbers are only as accurate as the information that is put into the system. So I have another uh, quarterly that I do as well. So all you have to do is just let me know if you have interest in that also. But here's St. Lucie County, single family homes active. We have 1,498. How many do we have that have closed? We'll close sales from October the 1st to October the 31st, single family, St. Lucie County, 425. And that gets into a, an absorption rate, which is important to know as well. So I pull up the hot sheets. I educate myself each day on each of these locations and can always give you what's happening on that day, which narrows it down a bit versus just the quarterly reports. Here's for Palm Beach County. Now Palm Beach County is one of the largest counties. So just Keep that in mind if you're new to this area or you're just watching a video about Palm Beach County. There's 5,835 active properties, for sale properties on the market right now. Uh, that should give you some, some idea of the size of the county. If you ever pull up Palm Beach County, you'll see how large that this particular county is. A lot of ground to cover and really some neat areas all the way from the East Coast over to the Okeechobee, but anyway. We can talk about that later. 5,835 properties is what we have available for purchase. And then the actual sold or closed, used to be called sold, now it's CD for closed, uh, or CS, I'm sorry, for closed sale. CD is your closing document that changed as well. But we can, again, any of that kind of information, just ask and I'll explain. So closed sales, uh, 10 1, 10 31, single family again, Palm Beach County. We have 1,160. Now it's important to note 5,835 for sale, 1,160 closed in the month of October. So these statistics uh, are become more and more important when you're looking for a property. And you can come over here, you can see the sales price to the original listing price. Now, of course, this number is askew. You know, I, there's, some, there's some things in here that are, are a little bit off, as you can tell. But it does give you some pretty good estimate on how many properties have closed and how many of them are actually on the market. So if you want a further explanation of this or anything else to do with the real estate, I did not like numbers when I started in real estate, just so you know. They were not my favorite. I have learned that they are so important for me to give guidance to my buyers and sellers. We do everything with factual information, not just hearsay. So by giving you this, you have an idea that when I give you information about a market, I've actually done the research and I'll provide the research to you as well when you're making a decision, whether that's in selling or buying. So thank you for stopping by today. I hope this was informative. I hope it gave you a bit of information. Again, this is only single family residences. So if you comment below, you subscribe, give me a comment or on Facebook and you comment or you can uh, DM me, whatever works. But let me know if you want to know about the condos, the townhomes, the villas. Uh, we can do this with income producing properties. I can tell you all kinds of statistical information if that is yours. And even if it's not, Here's the one thing to know. I'm doing that for you, providing you the information so that you can make a factual decision. I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take care. It's been a pleasure.